Greetings, my fellow gamers. This is I, Wraith King. Today, we will be talking about... Today, something happened to me that has scarred me. I will not give any spoilers. But something... Something in this video has scarred me. If you want to see more of my content, my fellow gamers, remember to leave a like, comment, and please do subscribe to my channel. There have been a load of updates for a lot of games this week. Right after this video, expect a huge rant on Vainglory. They have updated their game in a ridiculous way, and I will be talking about that. But right now, Tio has been awakened, and a new hero has been added to the game as well. I will be reviewing both of them. But if you want to see more, leave a like, comment, and please do subscribe to my channel for more. But... Without any further ado, please enjoy the video. Greetings my fellow gamers, it is I, Wraith King, and welcome to Seven Nights! The update is finally here! I was just about to go to sleep and... Yeah, the game updated. So yeah, I'm tired again. <laughs> but I'm so happy! I am so happy and so excited, so... That is enough energy to keep me awake. Just enough energy! <laughs> We kind of already know what the Awakened Teal does, but I am very curious to see what he does, but I am also extremely curious to see what this new Hidden Master does. So I don't know who I should talk about first, my fellow gamers. Should we talk about uh, Teal or the new Hidden Master? Let's do Teal first since huge hype. Oh, and by the way, this is actually one of my favorite characters in the game, and I share this favorite character with one of my very good friends. His name is T Blue Mon. Go check out his channel. T Blue Mon loves this character to pieces. He's probably already making a video about it right now as I make this one. With this sword, I will end the evil. All right, this is too cool. This is just too cool, and I am just scared all at the same time. Uh, okay, let, let, let's see the damage. Let's see how overpowered he is. Okay, Crow Vision. Nullifies piercing damage. Critical hit will take effect for all his attacks, of course. Activates Wild Fury upon third attack or launching a basic attack to the target under block nullification effect. In PvP mode, applies damage... Uh, 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 Damage block effect for three turns on every third attack received. Ooh, uh, and uh, Wild Fury inflicts 100% physical damage <laughs> on three enemies. On, on one enemy. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> they nerfed him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wild Fury inflicts 100% physical damage three times on one enemy with the highest defense. Piercing will take effect. Decreases the, <laughs> the enemy's buff to rotation by three turns. Okay. Damage block. Can't inflict, can't inflict any damage in, except status effects until the damage block is removed. Um... Gas is shield that transfers all damage to the Casper. So, um, all right. He has this in uh, PvP mode, which is all great. But he... <laughs> I don't think he has his undead effect. Now, this isn't the undead effect, is it? No, 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 that's not it. So, uh, let, me, let me look at this one last time. One last time. Nope, no undead effect, my fellow gamers. So he has been nerfed. <laughs> he has been nerfed. Oh, a great deal. At least his undead effect is gone. So I guess that means he probably won't be super overpowered. Because that is one of the things that made him ridiculous in the Korean version. So that's kind of good news and kind of bad news. Still kind of happy that he won't break the meta, but we haven't seen his other skills yet. Let's take a look and see what Talon Strike how Talon. You know what? This is what happens when you don't get any sleep, my fellow gamers. Anyways, what this ability does is it inflicts 70 
percent physical damage on all enemies three times piercing will take effect and nullifies the target's block for two turns so yeah that's pretty great just simple upgrade from the original all right what does Cor corvus eclipse slash do inflicts 100 percent physical damage on all enemies two times ignores the enemy's defense decreases the enemy's buff duration by three turns so yeah yeah simple upgrade let's take a look at that awakening skill dark crow tornado slash that is a very very epic name this inflicts 90 percent physical damage on all enemies three times decreases the target's charged awakening gauge by a fixed amount paralyzes a target for two turns at a certain rate so yeah yeah he was nerfed uh, at least balanced anyway i don't see the undead dead effect in there either or maybe i'm just really really tired and i'm over reading something but i i didn't see it in there so teal without the undead effect weird that's really weird I really like his voice actor here, though. I really do. I'll show you the real. All right, nothing different there. Now you guys got to get a load of his awakening skill. Free of fear. My blade shall fail. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh man, he's he's okay. I think he's pretty strong. I, I think he's still pretty strong even without his undead effect. I, I find that a little ridiculous that he doesn't have that. I, I wasn't expecting that to be removed. I was actually just expecting them to like change a few things concerning his uh, first active. But you know, I guess that's fine too. I. It, that's fine what do you guys think about him me personally i i don't think he's going to be as heavy as he is in the korean version right now but i still think he's going to see play regardless but all right let's take a look at this new hidden master Beauty itself is an absolute power. dude she's a freaking kid man i i thought she was i thought she was a grown woman Maybe I shouldn't have left that comment on the Seven Nights YouTube channel about her teaser. <laughs> Bathory, I believe her name is. What does Blood Queen do? For one hit, the damage received will not exceed 20% of her max health. If the damage received is higher than her current HP, fully recover her HP once if HP dropped below 50%, fully recover her HP up to two times. Applies marker nullification. Marker nullification? She increases the damage of markers. If that's what that means, that's pretty powerful. But then again, I am extremely tired and I wouldn't be surprised if I'm reading this wrong. So, all right. What does her first active do? Let's take a look. Vampiric Diet inflicts 80% magic damage on three enemies four times. Additionally, piercing and critical hit will take effect. Life steal 100% of the damage dealt. So pretty much whatever damage she deals will probably be a lot. She should recover full HP from it. So yeah, she's OP. I, I need to get her like, like now. Throne of the Full Moon inflicts 120% magic damage on all enemies two times, additionally poisons the target, inflicts damage equal to 15% of max HP if the target is poisoned, reduces the enemy's buff duration by three turns. Oh, okay. So far, so good. Let's take a look at her awakening skill. Bloody Festival prioritizes among enemies in the front row and inflicts 2,000 fixed damage on all enemies two times additionally removes the buffs the debuffs on all allies okay okay then 
that's pretty strong, but what does Eliminate do? An eliminated enemy is removed from the battlefield and cannot be revived or given immortality. Thank you, devs. I need this hero. I need this hero. I like Tio, I really do, but I feel like she's better just a little bit. She might work a lot better than Tio in this meta, but I think Tio's still gonna see play regardless. All right, let's see those animals. <laughs> That's what they gave away in the trailer, so okay, everything's new from here, my fellow gamers. The night has arrived. Let the hunting begin. Oh, that was pretty cool. What about this? Okay, that was really cool. I like this hero a lot. I really do. So, okay, we're gonna try to get Bathory. We are going to try to, I accidentally hit the closet. If you guys heard something in the background, I bumped my leg. I'm sorry, I'm really excited. I'm really excited, I'm sorry. We have 1,125 gems. If we do not get Bathory, I might just eat my foot out of anger. Please, game. Please. Please. <clears throat> we got we got we got more tries. We got more tries. We have more. We have more. I know my inventory's full, but... Uh... Uh... Mm. You know, at least we can, uh, we can, uh, le level up Theo and, uh, awaken her. You know? We're just gonna go ahead and do this. You know, I'm just not spending gems on them packs anymore. I, I, I just, I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. And yeah, I know there was like a step up summon, but you can't select the new hero. Going to be using that later because I am looking to level up Tio and, uh, I mean, not Tio, but Lubu right now. As much as I kind of want to level up Tio a little more, she's not all that strong right now. She's okay. Of course I'm out of gold. Of course I'm out of gold! Of course I am! Of course I am! If you like this video, you know what I already said it at the beginning, I don't need to say it again. Please do have a blessed day. Take it easy for me, alright? Bye!